What's up, everybody? This is Justin, aka On God, bro. On God, bro. On God, bro. On God, bro. And today I'm going to show you a vocal doubling trick or effect that I've. I'd like to think that I invented it. But um, it's using a few plugins you do need. You need some sort of pitch plugin, some sort of doubler or like stereo imaging plugin could work. Um, I'm using Waves, Doubler, and the little Alter Boy plugin by Sound Toys. I've used this effect a few times on a couple different songs, and it's mainly to just give some more life to vocal doubles for rap. Um, I typically don't like, at least on like the artists that I work with, the artists that I work with. Um, I don't like a lot of the doubles. It just depends on the rapper and the, the style of rap and how well they're able to harmonize. But sometimes a verse does need do doubles or some, something to, to give the vocals a little more depth or especially like in the track I'm about to show you, the beat is very simple. So there's a lot of room to mess and play around with. So that's what I did. So we've got the project open here. The song is called Vibin. This effect is really pretty easy to achieve and don't um, be alarmed by my terribly unorganized project I'm trying to get better at it I think I did have like a <laughs> a more organized version for the sake of the video but I forgot to save what I did so we're just gonna go with it okay hold up wait a minute what okay Okay, so I'm just gonna play. So I'm just gonna play the acapella. So on this, I achieved this effect basically the same way, but John didn't record any doubles to his verse. I just copied his verse, chopped up certain sections because we didn't want the effect to go the whole whole verse. Chopped up which sections we wanted it on, and then did my effect chain whereas chris's verse somewhere down here is different he recorded his verse he recorded actual doubles and then we did did the effect chain that way you can do either you can get in trouble sometimes with like phase issues if you just copy your original vocal but if you do enough effects or know enough of what you're doing if you invert the phase or whatever you can get away with it okay so let's hear his verse real quick just without the doubles okay hold up wait a minute what the fuck just happened i was just snapping and woke up and now the world's Oops. gone bad shit crazy caskets laced and masked right, up so. faces places i was planning on packing i'll vanish with no trace am i awake or still dreaming this nightmare escape sounds good without the vo vocals but as you can hear like i said this beat is pretty simple so there's a lot of room that you can add different effects delays or whatever and i went with this type of effect so how we get this effect how, how we achieve it so on the main vocal that you want to manipulate the the double i've got a little altivore plugin by sound toys i love this plugin it, i don't know how much it is normally they usually do like sales you can get it for like 30 bucks it's a great plugin i use it on drums all sorts of stuff but you could use any sort of pitch plugin so i think most daws like logic's got a pitch plugin this is different because it shifts the formant and the pitch which is really cool um you can get some cool manipulation that way some most pitch plugins I don't think have that sort of option, but um, you should be able to get the same effect with any sort of pitch plugin. So we're gonna go with a pitch plugin on the the doubles. And then I have it bust to a bus that has the Waves Doubler plugin on it. And this plugin is also great. You can use I know like Sound Toys has a Micro Shift plugin. Any sort of like imaging stereo imaging um, plugin you should be able to use. But in this instance, I use the Waves Doubler. So one quick tip, and I don't know why I did it like this, but typically when I use the waves doubler to, if you use it on a bus to basically get just the wet signal, all you have to do is take this little middle icon, which is the, the direct signal and move it all the way down, or you could just like gain reduce it here. But what that does is it just takes the dry signal out. So since we're using it on a bus, we don't want the dry signal along uh, with the double effect. And all we're doing is I think I just set my automation to touch or right and I went through Okay, hold up, wait a minute. What the fuck just happened? I was just snapping and woke up and now the world's gone bad shit crazy. 
And I just went through and automated format shifting. I, th I might have even changed the pitch a couple times. I can't remember, but this is what it sounds like with the with my effect chain. Just the little alter boy plug-in and then a doubler plug-in after it. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. It sounds... Just snapping and woke up and now the world's gone bad shit crazy. The master faces. And then I've got like some sort of slap delay on it. But it really just helps beef up the verse. It makes the verse interesting. So let's just hear it real quick with, with and without it. Okay, hold up, wait a minute. What the fuck just happened? I was just snapping and woke up and now the world's gone bad shit crazy. Casket slays the master faces. Places I was planning on packing, I vanished with no trace. Am I awake or still dreaming? This nightmare escape, can't believe it. I sit, wait for some reason while all my patience and pleads. It's a cue up the curve, your enthusiasm theme song vibe. I'm in my backyard with the music turned up way too high. Feeling alive and I'm proud at the same time while I'm so that's how we did it on his verse. Let's go to my brother's verse just so you can hear. This would be kind of my preferred method to do it is just have the person actually try and do doubles to their verse and go from there. Okay, here we go. Grass between my toes, facing towards the sun. I might be living in this speak of life seems tough. So here on, like I said, this, how I did it with my brother's verse, same effect chain, like we're using a little alter boy plugin and we're going into a bus with this doubler plugin. And again, I had it turned all the way, the direct signal turned all the way down. So we're just getting kind of that side signal. And I think it, the doubler plugin acts like a micro shift, like those um, units back in the, the day um, where it kind of just alters the pitch on the, the side signals. Um, and gives you a really cool widening effect and you can use that on percussion or anything so let's just hear what it sounds like without the doubles grass between my toes facing towards the sun i might be living in this heaven that they speak of life seems tough because you dream of a better one instead invest in the present one see this cool so again that sounds good but let's make it a little more interesting with this doubler effect Grass between my toes, facing towards the sun. I might be living in this heaven that they speak of. Life seems tough because you dream of a better one. Instead, invest in the present one. See, this present ain't cheap. Whether a peasant or a king, you must earn your keep. Learn more. Cool. So that's it. That's my quick little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And you could use this effect on anything from vocals to... You could do something similar with percussion, which I do sometimes. And I'll go over... Uh, with another one of these videos let me know what you want to see this is completely new to me showing these techniques and stuff that I try and come up with or learn and I want to share them effectively and efficiently so please give me any tips advice um, anything you want to see or hear let me know <laughs>